Hi, I'm Andrew, one of the developers trying to shape the future of testing at Cypress. In this tutorial, we're going to build a simple application, testing it with Cypress as we go. We'll get a feel for what working with Cypress is like in the wild, and look at some really powerful features that will help us build applications with confidence. We'll be starting with a pre-configured starter project. Let's start by cloning the starter project from GitHub. I'll visit the repository under the Cypress organization, and grab the URL by clicking the Cloner Download button and then clicking on the clipboard icon. Now in my terminal, I'll run git clone, pasting in the URL for the repository, and pressing enter. In order to run this project, we need to have Node and NPM installed. As long as those are in place, we can cd into the project directory and run npm install to install all of the project's dependencies. Now we're ready to get started. Let's open this project in an editor and take a look at the package.json file. Our package.json file has a handful of scripts for building and running the application. We'll build and bundle our JavaScript using Webpack and serve both the application and our API using JSON server. All the build configuration has been taken care of, so we can simply run an NPM script and we'll be up and running. You'll also see that we have some dependencies for our application, as well as some dev dependencies, including Cypress. We'll run the application with npm run dev in a terminal. This will build our React components to the build directory and start our server, making the application available at localhost port 3030. When we open that address in a browser, we'll see that the application already contains some elements. The basic pieces of the UI have been marked up already, but none of the functionality has been wired up. We'll be making the application work using Cypress along the way to make sure everything we build is well tested. We have Cypress installed as a dependency, but we still need to run it. We could run it directly from the node module's bin directory, but to make life easier, we'll add an npm script to run Cypress for us. In the package.json file, we can add a new entry in scripts right after the dev script. We'll call this one Cypress and give it a value of Cypress space open. We can save the file and back in a terminal, we'll leave our application running and in a new tab, we can start Cypress with npm run Cypress. When Cypress runs for the first time, it will seed our project with some files. We'll see a new directory named Cypress, as well as a cypress.json file added to the root of our project. We'll be creating our own spec files so we can expand the Cypress integration directory and delete the example underscore spec file. We can also open the fixtures directory and remove the example.json file as we won't be using the seeded fixture file either. We'll be starting with the input form for our application. So let's create a new spec file under the integration directory and call it inputform.spec.js. At the top of the file, we'll add a describe block with the description input form. In this describe, we can add our first test with an it, and we'll be testing that the input is focused when the application is loaded. Before we can test any behavior, we need to visit the page. So we'll add a call to sci.visit, passing in the address for our locally running application. Before we continue, we should make sure we can reach our application. So in Cypress, I'll click on the input form spec to launch the Cypress runner and run this test. When the spec runs, we'll see that the command log shows the description from the describe block, the individual test description, as well as the log entry for the visit command that we issued. The page has also been loaded in the application preview. Now that we know our project is properly set up, we can move on to implementing some features and testing them as we go.